Now we are up to L6. L6 is a modified block. So we're gonna go to the booklet and see the changes. And they've taken this outer border away because once you get the sashing on, it looks like two borders. So we're gonna work directly from this booklet. And I've got my pieces all in the exploded view here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on this in units. If you look at the corners here, so we've got this whole square, so and then it's enclosed by this. So this is your square. You assemble these together and these together, and you make this rectangle, attach it to this, then attach it to this, and then finish with this. This unit is gonna be these two pieces plus this giant center, and then these two pieces. So essentially you have a big central row here. Same thing over here as it is on the section. So you're gonna put these two rails together, these two together, add it to this, add it to this, and then finish with that. For these, the unit is very easy. It's one, two, and three here in this rectangle. Same thing over here. And so you've got your basic assembly here. So I've got, these are my two rail fences, and then it's gonna go to this. This is gonna attach to this or this, either way, either order, because I did say this, then this, but you know. And then that's all gonna get attached to this. And then here's my central row. Here's my unit of three. So basting on this is gonna be very straightforward. I'm gonna baste the short sides before the long sides on every case because everything here except for this is a rectangle. These are easy. You just pick two sides and do those and then pick opposite sides and do those. So that way you've got some consistencies and we will get started with one of the corner units. So the first thing I'm working on is these pieces right here. Not this one, but these five. So I basted them. So here's this rectangle and then you've got these two pieces. Now if you look at these two, if you get these mixed up, the smaller one is obvious, okay? And that's gonna go onto here. Now, my focus fabric is directional. So I wanna make sure, because after I baste it, I can't see what's on the other side. Now this one, it'll look the same whether it's either way. So this way or this way, it's the same thing, okay? This one, however, is a different story entirely. So it can be, if, if this is considered an arrow, then it could be up or down. So what happens if I forget? Well, I have, this is why I don't baste everything all at the same time. I have the mirror image over here. And so if, if this is up, I will just flip it over and be, okay, well, the arrow needs to point down when I attach it. And I'm going to make sure that it's attached to this piece. So I'm going to baste, or I'm going to stitch these together. I'm gonna to stitch these two together with focus fabric on top, here to the other. And then this is going to be here and here and then I can connect this into one unit to this. The direction on this looks like it's not gonna matter either, but I can kind of see through here yet anyway that this is L6 and my arrow's sticking up here. So just be careful as you baste that you baste and then assemble so that you don't lose your directional. So each of these units are now sewn together and I will attach this here I will still, even though it's so tiny, I will still start here and tie off before this seam and then start over here. So I make sure that these line up because the small ones are the most important because any tiny uh, deviation here will do nothing but grow as I assemble this. So you wanna make sure that you're really accurate and make sure that you do not stitch down this fold. You wanna stitch on, as you see here, you want to stitch on that particular piece. Make sure you don't stitch this down, otherwise you will not be able to get the paper out later. So this is all one unit now with the four pieces. 
and I'm going to attach it to this rectangle. So I've attached the rectangle to the other four pieces and now I will attach this bar to make this unit here. So we're going to have, it's going to be this right there. So this top bar is attached, which now means I can attach the side bar and that's what's going to be this entire unit. Okay, so I've got this side bar attached. So now I've got this unit here in the corner assembled. So the next section is going to be these right here. These three are going to be assembled. Let me move this and show you. Whoops. So this unit here with these three, I can make my next unit, and then I can make this other corner that's a mirror image of this. So I got all three of these pieces basted, so now it's just a matter of connecting them. So I have all three of these pieces connected to each other, and now I will attach it to the bottom corner unit. So this central section has been attached to my bottom corner unit, and this this lines up pretty decently with this because this is going to be the visual effect. So now I'm going to go to this upper corner unit right here, and that way I can finish that and I have this whole side done. So I've basted all the little pieces for my upper corner section, and when I put these together and put these two together like I did before, just make sure that you know that this is supposed to be on top of that, which is opposite of this other corner that we did a minute ago, where this was on top of that. So each one of these corners is going to have these in different order. So I'm going to put these two together and then these two, and then I can attach it to this section. So I finished this top corner, and so now I'm going to attach this to the side, so my left side is going to be completed. And I'm going to take, I'm going to do these units here on the corners so that then I'll have those ready to go. So I've attached this corner to the side so the side is together. And then I have the middle section. And all I did was assemble these five pieces right down the center. And that will then attach to my side. And then I have one corner piece here, and then this is the last corner piece, and then this is the center section, and we'll be able to put this side together. So I've got my center section attached to my side, and then I have finished this other side here. So now all that's left is to attach this to the center section. And now I have a completed L6 block.